Hey, it's Angel with Angel's Edge. Uh, got a knife unboxing video from the back 40. I'm doing this one outside. It's a nice day out. It's uh, just kind of nice out, so I figure I'd do a little outside video uh, and see how it goes. First time, true, I've done some shorts outside, but never a true unboxing outside. So who knows how this is going to go, but we're going to find out here shortly. Shortly. Vicky's over there chilling. She's gonna probably, I'll probably have to, she probably have to take the knife and give her opinion too. So, all right. So we got the Effingro EF63 knife. Uh, I guess I'm going on a kind of Effingro, uh, Effingro uh, buying binge. They were both, uh, the one I got before was 20 bucks and this one was also 20 bucks. They were usually $30, so. I thought it was a good deal. So here we go. See how this natural lighting is going to do. I, I, it's hard for me to see. So if, if you miss anything or I miss anything, bear with me. So here's the what box it comes in. So if you see grass segments flying too. We're, like I said, we're outside on the back 40. All right. So F and Grow EF63 8.4 inch folder. Sur uh, survival. So it's the EF63. Pop it open. Where is it? Oh, okay. Just kind of got a magnetic thing. So uh, here's the box. And, well, the box, you know, see now it has like the cushion on it, like it's the styrofoam or whatever you want to call it. All right. So the knife itself is a. I thought it caught my eye because the uh, it looks titanium to me, but it's not titanium. It's a stainless steel of some sort, frame lock, and uh, it's a flipper with the uh, bearings. Oop, I caught my sleeve. Try that again. So there's the knife. It looks what it looks like. You can see that. I did put a new edge on it because it wasn't super sharp. And before I get into that, I'll take a close look. You guys could take a look at it. That's a pretty nice edge right there, huh? Anyways, I'll tell you some more about the edge. Uh, so there's. It looks like the. It's like a G10, very aggressive uh, hand grips, but they wore in after a few days of carrying it, I thought. It's got a slight recurve on the blade, very, very subtle. There's the frame lock, has a decorative kind of handle. Some people say it on Amazon, it's a weak clip, so I don't know, it hasn't broke on me yet. I hope, knock on wood, knock on plastic, whatever. Has a lanyard hole has G10 backspacer so it's not an open pillar uh, has a, like a, a this you see well, the black marks from when I sharp and I usually put a black mark so I know where I was at so I don't it that way the clamp don't it slips on me it won't I can get back where I was there's a I, I guess it's not quite enough to be a finger flipper you can say I got sometimes I can get it with the that but sometimes I can't. I took this off to see what it looks like. It's just got a hole, Noth nothing big. I'd really, really, if anybody's watching this, knows what this a if, what this is a clone of. I just couldn't find it. Uh, so anyway, so I was sharpening this. I don't know if you look real close at this. I would have never noticed it was sharpening, but if you look here, it's like it's got a hollow grind here and then more of a flat saber grind there. So it's like com combination grind, grind, but if you look on the hollow grind comes up to here, and you can see it right here. It, it uh, not sharp. So this is longer on this side than this side. So I believe I was listening to knees knives, and he was saying the thicker that the spot where it's thicker, no matter what you do when you sharpen the uh, the bevel is going to always look, get bigger. So that's why it looks bigger than the back part where the hollow grind is because it's the thicker part of the blade so so i've only seen like one other video on this on youtube so uh and i think the other the other one was my uh video of me doing a short so so let me go and shut this let's go and also 
Let's, uh, I'm gonna check over here. Get my scene. It's hard to see out in the sun a little bit. So my other scene. We'll go to. So. Oh, uh, what do we do? We're gonna do something. Uh oh, not doing so good here. What the crap's going on? Oh. Hmm. Okay. All right. I think it's. Uh, it's not working like I wanted it to work here. Uh, usually, let me shrink this down. Maybe it's there. Okay, all right, it's okay. So, oh, there's a, what do I see? There's only two left in stock now. So, it's still 1979. Uh, so if you want it, you better probably buy it. I'll, I probably won't post this until it probably won't come out until tomorrow morning. So, hopefully, they're still there for you. But it's the F and Grow uh, 8.4. Is that my phone or your phone? No. All right. Uh, so 1999. There's two different colors. The orange one's a little more expensive. It's $24. Uh, EF63 black, 162 grams. Alloy steel. It says D2 on it. Uh, D2 provides razor sharp prefer performance. It was it was almost razor sharp. It wasn't super razor sharp. Um, I'm gonna go professional outdoor quality. So there's uh, there's that. Now I want to show you something else, which is weird because I think F and Grow has two different knives that are considered EF 63s, and this is the other one. It's a totally different knife. So I don't know what the deal is why they have two different knives like that so all right let's get go back and do some size comparisons and stuff like that let's see all right all right back to here so uh i got <clears throat> two other out here with me two other effing grow knives and these are both clones of other micro techs so so there's so they have a they have abundance of knives, so you can see a size comparison. If you have, there's the size oops, between those two. This is the uh, I can't remember. It's a clone of a Microtech. It's a little bit smaller than that. A little smaller than that one too. Uh, let's go over here. Let's do what uh, the standard tenacious i think a lot of people have tenacious for everyday carry and there's a little we'll put button them up to you one another on the counter so we got one two three four five six seven eight the tenacious is under eight inches long without the little lanyard and this one's just over eight inches you can see it one two three four five six seven eight eight and a half inches long so, so there's your size. It's bigger than Tenacious. And here's the Manix, another Spyderco. It's bigger than the, the Spyderco. And let's try the Gerber 06. So, oh, there's that's a pretty good size comparison between the two. There we go. Let's go uh, the weight. Weight here. Put these colors the blades up so I don't cut myself. I'd probably be YouTube gold to cut myself on camera, but I don't feel like doing that. Alright. Alright, put those knives away. Here we go. Turn this puppy on. All right, zero, and it's 5.95 ounces, so it's almost six ounces. I'll go to mode, try it, pound, 0.3 pounds, 169 grams. Oh, that's right what they said, 169 grams. All right, we'll do uh, specs with the spine thickness. Let's turn this on. Millimeter spine thickness, we'll go inches for right now. 
spine thickness is 0.14 inches and it has this nice swedge so it's that see that swedge at, at the end so it's a nice thick so he shouldn't break anything look at the swedge comes out i think that's what it's called it's i thought it was bigger but it's actually maybe it does taper that's some optical illusion it's almost point five that yeah so there you go you yeah, look at from that view has some kind of jumping but not really it's just a little they're cutouts it might give you some grip the handle thickness including the g10 is half a little over a half inch but you don't really hit yeah, you got to hit the g10 it's got a slight uh, contour you hit it at the top it's a little under a half inch frame lock nice solid lock up there i tell you what outside it seems like on my screen the lighting is superb i just want to i just i just don't get that good of light uh on the inside you do have to listen to chickens uh laying eggs though i don't know if you guys can hear that my wife's chickens I'm just, I just like looking at the edge. All right, that's 11 minutes already. Let me see if I forgot anything. I just hope this, this uh, pocket clip, it just does like, it looks like it has a little bit of a bend to it, but I, I, it's still strong. I, I don't wear jeans. I wear like uh, khaki style pants. So my, where I slide them in, it's not that thick on the, there's no like, jean material so take one more look at it for everybody because that's what i like to, i like to see the knife shut up and let me look at the knife and it's that way i have to see if i want to buy it that's what i i'm not 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 <laughs> but that's i'll sometimes i'll fast forward to just so i can see what the knife looks like before i go to amazon to buy it So, like I said, the, the blade has been resharpened, and it's the bevel is not going to be that long. It would probably be a little more shallow. It would probably, the bevel came, like, probably more like this. Like, it was like a, like a real shallow bevel. So, so, all right. D2. Says D2. Uh, I would, I didn't bring no paper out with me or anything like that, phone paper, but it, even if I showed you how it cuts, it's not a fair representation because I've sharpened it and it's really, really sharp now. But that's why I like hollow grinds. Here, see if I can. Well, I better not do that. Either. In this case, YouTube. I don't know. All right, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe to Angel's Edge. And. I had, to, I had to give my my uh bring my own sign outside because all my other signs are inside all right see you later bye